Hi, welcome back to my study review of the chapter 8 sections through a course um, here. And uh, we had figured out how to find the area of a certain object. And now, um, before I show you how to find the area of this object here, um, first I want to teach you how to, uh, or if we both learn together, how to make the perimeter of this object. And as you can see, it's basically three fourths. Remember, to define a perimeter, it's the distance all the way around an object. So basically, we can recognize this as, I mean, look at our circle. We call it um, the circumference. So basically, it's three fourths of a circumference. And then looky here. So it looks like we got these two sides here. Plus, so we're going to find this distance here by finding three-fourths of pi d. So basically, remember, circumference is pi d. Four times three-fourths will give us this distance here. And then now we want to also add, if we go like this and this, and it's basically a square, because we're going to need two measurements here, which were our radiuses. They're also going to look like the two sides of a square. So now we know that we can also add to this distance here, which was 3 fourths of pi d, which gave us 3 quarters of a circumference, plus the two sides, now because we're going to do, 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 and then up and over here. So this is basically our square, so we've got 4 minus 2 times a side, because we're basically using two sides of a square. So remember, and your s is your side, which is what you say here. So now we'll find the perimeter of this type of object. We added three fourths of the circumference plus two sides of a square. This is cut in half to get the perimeter of this object.